How's it going, everyone? My name is Where You Don't Care What My Name Is, and today I'm going to be giving my review for the 20th anniversary of Gladiator. The movie premiered back on May 1st, 2000 in Los Angeles, California, before the full premiere in the United States on May 5th. The film was directed by the legendary Ridley Scott himself, who directed such films as Alien, Blade Runner, Legend, Dumb and Louise, and many others. The film was produced by Douglas Wick, Branko Lustig, and David Franzoni, who also wrote the story for the film. The film stars Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, Connie Nielsen, Oliver Reed, Derek Jacoby, and many other great actors. The story for the film focuses on Russell Crowe's character, Maximus Decimus Meridius, who was a general for the Roman Empire and planned to retire once the war ended. However, he's, re he's framed by Joaquin Phoenix's character, Commodus, the son of the Emperor. Maximus manages to avoid death, but when he returns home, he finds his wife and son have been killed. So Maximus is found and sold as a slave to be to fight in, as a gladiator. He is told that if he wins enough fights, he can go to Rome where he can be able to perform in front of the Emperor, who happens to be Commodus himself. So the story focuses on Maximus not only earning the love and trust of the people so he can get to Rome, but also you gain the love and trust of the people of Rome so he can get his revenge by overthrowing Commodus and also kill him. The film is about 2 hours and 35 minutes long. so. Despite how long the film is, it is actually well paced with the first act of the story, starting off with a big fight scene, just getting you right into it, but also slowing down just enough for you to know who these characters are, and you also can figure out where the plot's going to go if you've never seen this film, but once you see where this is going, you understand what the rest of the story is going to be like. The second start part of the, of the story is where the action does pick up a little more, especially with the gladiator fight scene. Uh, it definitely shows Maximus not only earning that love and respect from the people, but also earning the respect from the gladiators themselves and showing how much Commodus hates him to the point he's trying to do everything he can to, to, ki to kill him. Now, by the time we get to the third act, you're still, I do feel like you can still get, you're still invested from the very, to the very end, especially since this is where we're going to get to the revenge part and we see Commodus doing everything he can to try taking advantage so he can kill Maximus. But in the end, it doesn't always work out well for the bad guys. And it does end in a very triumphant but also sad ending. But again, it's not bad. And it does keep you hooked on from the beginning to the middle end. Because you want to see Maximus get his revenge. You want to see him finally kill uh, Commodus and get his and finally avenge his family. Rosa Crowe's performance in the film was well done. He has to believe he's not only a badass, but someone who could actually command an army, command respect, is very honorable, but someone you want to root for to the very end. The only problem I do have is basically how he always talks in these films. If you pay close attention, you know what I'm talking about. His dialogue is just basically the same thing, the way he talks, the way he uh, is speaking to someone. It's just basically the same thing as other films. Joaquin Phoenix in this film, I love his portrayal as the cowardly but evil Commodus who wants the love of his father to try to and prove himself, but his father favors Maximus more and makes Commodus despise him so much to the point he would frame him for a crime he didn't commit. His actions, again, makes you hate him, but in a good way because you want to see him uh, get his ass kicked. You want to see Maximus get his revenge against him and you see, you know, he'll do whatever it takes to keep that from happening until finally it does happen. So, Joaquin Phoenix did such a great job with this, and I really was impressed with his performance with this film. And even years later with Joker, he still shows how dedicated he is and how much of an amazing actor he is. Connie Nielsen, Oliver Reed, and many other great actors did such a great job with this. Especially, I hope I say this right, if not, I apologize, Digimon uh, uh, Honzo. I apologize. If I butchered that, I apologize. Uh, he plays Maximus' friend and a close ally to him when uh, Maximus is sold uh, as a slave to fight in the gladiator fights. Uh, he teams up with, uh, with Maximus and the two of them fight together to survive. I love his performance in this, especially in films such as Amistad, Blood Diamond, and even the upcoming films I'm looking forward to seeing him in, such as A Quiet Place Part 2 and The King's uh, Man, which is a prequel to the Kingsman movie. The only flaw I do have is that there are some characters in this film that are given some time in the film, but not enough time for you to know who these people are or even care about them, uh, especially if anything happens to them. You're, you're just not really invested in them. So what about the special effects, the music, everything else? How are they? Well, the setting for the film uh, isn't completely CGI. I mean, okay, maybe the, the, sometimes the city and the arena does look 
fake as hell. But when we have some of the close ups, especially in the fights in the with gladiator fights in the arena floor, it does look very. It does look like they did a great job setting the whole thing up. You know, building it all, building the set to make sure it looks good. And I especially love the uh, choreograph with the fight scenes uh, with the actors going up against each other. It was all done well. I love how the fights looked. <laughs> yes, I know a lot of people will say, I love the blood, the bloody fight scenes. Those are awesome. I'm just, you know, glad the fight scenes look good. I'm just glad for that. Um, but, of course, there were times when I'm like, eh, some, some of that does look a little fake. Like, the tiger scene, I'm like, mm, there's no way you would have Russell Crowe win an actual tiger nearby. <laughs> no way. Uh, the music for this film is done so well. I love Lisa Garrard and also the Hans Zimmerman as well. Both did such a great job with their role in the film. The songs for the film are perfect, especially when they're playing in the right time, in the right moment. And a good example of that is the opening music that I use for my videos. That's a good example of that. I love that song so much, and it's it it's something that I think I, I thought people would enjoy listening to. I n so the only problem I do have with the film is the history of the film. Like, I know, I know... It's a it's a movie. They're gonna take liberties with the history part, but as someone who's trying to become a history teacher, I'm like, nah, I have a lot of problem with some of the stuff they have with the fights, um, especially the gladiators because gladiators actually never tried killing each other. They're, that actually was forbidden. They don't fight to the death. It's actually very rare to have a gladiator you know accidentally get killed, but. Other than that, they were just treated as like stars. They weren't actually trying to kill each other. So, despite this though, Gladiator is still an amazing film with, even 20 years later, it still holds up to this very day. It is a revenge story where we see our hero looking to, you know, get back at the man who took everything from him, who took his family, and will not rest until he gets his revenge. It does have some minor flaws, but it's still a good film. And it is something to be enjoyed with friends and loved ones. It is not a film I recommend watching with your kids. This just it's not it's not a good film you want to watch with your kids. But if you want to watch it with your friends and your loved one, I do recommend it. It is a good film. It is long, so be expected to be a, this to be a long film. But it is fun to the beginning, middle, and end. You're going to enjoy. You're going to love it. And I think a lot of people will still love it even years later. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this film or any other Russell Crowe or even really Scott films, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my Facebook page. Check out my Twitter page. Also, check out T3 Media's channel as well. Subscribe to their channel. Keep the date with their videos. And also, check out their website as well, where I will have the article for this story as well, uh, my review for this up as well. So you guys can read that. So take care, everybody. I'll see you next time. Give you more love and more entertainment. Be safe and goodbye.